Okay, we're here with Ron and Thomas. And what are we going to do today? In all these things. Well, what is that? 6V8 fuel uh, injector. Well, it's a full flex gold. And a full flex gold is going to convert this Honda CRV so it will run on E85 or ethanol. It will be flex fueled so it can run on gasoline or E85 or. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Or any mixture of the two, so it will be now a flex fueled vehicle. Yeah. So, Thomas, can you tell me why the full flex gold is the best flex fuel conversion kit available in America? Because it doesn't pollute. Well, that's true. There's 40 to 70 percent fewer emissions when you use E85 over gasoline. But actually, the full flex gold is the only EPA compliant model available in the United States right now. And it's the only one, so it's the best one. Okay, well, let's do an install. You guys ready? Yep. Okay, Ryan. Yeah, we, <laughs> we did a little bit of work in the beginning. We put the box back there on the battery. So uh, we zip tied it down, and now Ryan's going to pull the cables around the engine components. Yeah, going through the vacuum lines and... Well, but first, we're going to come over here and take a look and see where our fuel injectors are. As you can see, these are fuel injectors. Pull okay, why don't you give a good point so our viewers can see it? That why don't you point to the four of them down there? One, two, three, and four. Okay, fantastic. So, why don't you. What are you doing, Thomas? Okay, so what did you do there? Why don't you tell us what you did there, Ryan? What I did. I grabbed it and pinched these two things and then pulled and then... So you pinched those two things and you pulled the uh, that coupler there or that connector off of the fuel injector? Yeah. Okay, great. And then I put that in there until it pops on, which it should have done right there. Which, get paid. which it doesn't do. Oh, well, you get paid after the movie, Thomas. Oh. Huh. Yeah. When does that thing pop on? Okay, there you go. You got it right there. Push those two together and they click together. Like that? Well, let me double check that for you. Oh. Here we go. I think you need to work on your muscles. <laughs> He'll be working his muscles on you a little bit later, Thomas. <laughs> Now, why don't you hold the camera for me and videotape as I snap these two together. There we go. You see how that went in? Yeah. All right. Now, you take the other end of the connection and plug it on top of the fuel injector. I have big hands, so they're a little harder for me to reach, but I can do this car in about five minutes. Five minutes. That seems pretty quick. Yeah, it is. You're starting to sound like an infomercial. <laughs> okay, right now. I like pie. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Thomas. I'll take you out for some pie after this. Okay. Now, Ryan, why don't you uh, jump in there? We've got three more connectors to do. Yes, the full flex gold. Thank you, Thomas. That one. So does it matter which order? Um, it doesn't matter. You just have to make sure that the since these two connectors, see how they're very close together? Yes. This has to go on the injector itself, and then this one over here has to go to the uh, corresponding wiring harness. So screwing it up is very difficult to do. I haven't known anybody to screw this up yet. It's a very simple, very easy installation. <laughs> and how old are you, Ryan? 13. You're 13 years old. How old are you, Thomas? Nine. You're only nine? Well, I thought you were older than that. No. I'm not. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you're pretty big for your age. You're even taller now. <laughs> you're even taller now, that's right. That's all. But I was. Then I got off my tippy toes. Yeah, so as you can see, a nine and 13 year old are converting this car to run on E85 and ethanol and make it flex fueled right before your eyes here on video. Do I get paid yet? <laughs> get paid when the movie's done. <laughs> and then that's it. You did it already? Mm -hmm. Was it easy? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, we got one more step, which I didn't go over with you. We're going to come over here to the battery. Now, all of these units have a ground wire. Now, as you can see right here, we attach it to the uh, negative side of the battery. Or you can attach it down here where the negative battery cable is grounded to the vehicle. That's another good spot. But uh, basically, anywhere that there's a good ground, you can connect it up. Let's see if another look at that full flex gold. That's right. It's the best one on the market. It's the only one that's EPA compliant. Okay, well, now that we've got them all connected, we are going to go in and double check all these. Yeah, those are all done. Hey, you did a great job there, Ryan. Okay, the last thing that we would want to do is just make sure that it doesn't touch anything hot. There could be some hot components here in the engine where uh, it could melt the wires. So you just want to make sure it's not touching exhausts or uh, anything that could melt the wires and cause a short circuit. So just grab a couple zip ties, like put one right here and maybe one back over here. As you can see, I put a zip tie right there so that the wires don't uh, just hang. And uh, that's basically it for your installation. So we're going to start this up make sure that it runs. Oh yeah, that is my website, change to e85.com. That's where you can go to buy these. Or you can call our 800 number and speak to me personally and I will help advise you. So it starts up and we look for the check engine light. Now, if there was a problem with the installation, oh, turn off the radio there. Turn off the radio, thank you. And uh, the check engine light, which is located right over here, it would have come on saying that there may have been a uh, problem with the unit or a problem with the wiring. Now that since we have no check engine light, the car runs very smooth, we have no problem, and uh, we're going to head down to the gas station now and put a uh, half a tank of E85 and half a tank of gasoline and start the, uh, start the mapping progress. That is the end of our little movie here, and I'd like to thank... Ryan and Thomas for helping me out with this installation and making this movie. Yes, Thomas, you're going to get paid now. Okay, you guys want to say anything else? Pie. Pie? You like pie. And can you guys tell me why E85 is better than gasoline? It doesn't pull, it's cheaper, and because I like pie. And <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's better for the environment. It's going to save you money, and Thomas likes pie. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>